what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here so the faction rally event part two has started today each faction has brought along a couple of new pieces of gear which we will check out in today's video but before we go any further guys do you want to win some epic loot in the form of exclusive emblem and sparrow codes gift cards and much much more if so simply drop a like on this video leave a comment down below and join my discord server linked within the video description okay so future war cult dead orbit and new monarchy all in the tower all bringing that nice new loot so let's check out and we're going to start with new monarchy now this to be honest last time i chose because i got two hunters that's who basically i play mainly on and i chose future war Cult and new monarchy but i think i'm gonna go with dead orbit this week even though they only offer like a rubbish grenade launcher as you know the winner's offerings you know what this means basically the winning faction at the end of the week uh, if you've basically aligned with this faction you'll be able to buy this for 1000 glimmer as you can see it costs 50,000 glimmer if you ain't aligned with these so yeah uh, but this is probably the one to go for as well the honor's edge the sword it looks beautiful take a look at this it seriously does looking great but the gear they're bringing um it's the same old same old uh, the armors are exactly the same as they are they ain't going to change until season two so we know that and that comes with the second dlc but weapons we have the same old same old again but i believe we've got two new ones older sister three and maxim 11 now if these ain't new i apologize but i'm pretty sure they are i can't remember these the last time to be honest but yeah i really didn't pay that much attention so on this we have Ambitious Assassin, we have Alloy Magazine and Armor Piercing Rounds and we also have three sights. But yeah, looking quite good, high impact, uh, fast reload perk, so not bad at all. Um, and what was the other one we have? We have the Maxim 11 which is a sniper rifle. And on this we have Snapshot Sights, we have on the Alloy Magazine and Fled Magra along with three scopes. So looking good as well. I actually love the look of this. Let's check out it with a few shaders on it. Ooh, looking nice. Looking great. Um, but yes, what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to run over to um, Future War Court and Dead Orbit. So I'll resume the video when I get there. Okay, so we are at Future War Court. In my opinion, the best faction. Um, and like I said, as always, as we know from last time, Gear is still exactly the same apart from the two added weapons they have brought and they are the Enigma's Draw which is a sidearm. Uh, on this we have a Zen Moment, we have High Caliber Rounds and we have Accurate Rounds and we also have three sights. Looks like a little water pistol. And then we have I believe it's a grenade launcher, the Memory Interdict which grenade launchers just do not work in this game, they just don't work. Uh, rampage we have on the implosion rounds and we have remote detonation we also have confined launch counter mass and hard launch but yeah grenade launches ain't my sort of thing so i'm pretty well to be honest there's nothing from nothing here for me with future war cult i mean i got everything last time obviously i didn't get these two but i got everything else and these two don't really appeal to me so i ain't really fussed plus the winners are from weapon as well fusion rifle i mean this could be good but it looks great but you know fusion rifles in just i just yeah there's so many much better power weapons to use i mean it's a fusion rifle at the end of the day how often do you actually use them me not very often uh, on this we've got snapshot sights, we have enhanced battery and accelerated coils along with spark PS and torch HS3 but it does look great, let's have a look at it with a couple of shaders on it, looking nice, looking, oh looking great, but yeah, so what we're going to do now guys is we're going to go and check out Dead Orbit like I said, these will be the faction I choose this time around because it was the one faction last time I didn't do on my Hunter, I did on my Titan, I did get all Titan gear from Dead Orbit but I didn't get any uh, Dead Orbit Hunter gear so this is the one I'm missing so this is Got definitely you. the one I'm going to be grinding and these winners offering is probably the worst, it's a truth teller, the prob obviously Bungie don't want them to win two times in a row so they offer you a good nail launcher, everyone's obviously going to be picking new monarchy because of that sword but yeah, the truth teller, let's quickly take a look at this, quick draw, concussion grenades, 
Black Powder, uh, Confined Launch, Linear Compensator, and Hard Launch. Um, it's just full black. It's just nothing great about this all at all. I mean, I suppose if you like grenade launchers, you're probably going to like this. Who knows? Um, so let's check out the two new pieces of... Okay, so is there not two new? Um, Haunted Earth. Now, Haunted Earth was the one you could win last time, was it not? I'm pretty sure it was. So I've now rolled it in, which is great. Shame they didn't do that with Future War Cup. Because didn't they bring that amazing looking pulse, was it, last time? So yeah, but the gear looks great as well. Loving this, so yeah. Um, the two other new weapons, we've got Haunted Earth. I'm not saying new, it was available last time. And this we've got Fuel Prep, Tactical Mag and High Caliber Rands, along with IS-5 Circle and Model 6 Loop. Uh, so yeah, I actually enjoyed this to be honest, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I actually did enjoy this. It's not the best scout in the game, but it's pretty decent. And we also have a submachine gun called the Escape Velocity. And on this we have Grave Rubber. We have High Caliber Rounds, Steady Rounds, IS-2 Classic and IS-5 Circle. But yes guys, so that is it. That's the new gear these vendors offer this time around. Uh, so yes, actually a great, great pulse as well, the three graves, you never got this last time, amazing. Uh, but yeah, that's it, until season 2 people, there is not much to play for, to be honest. I mean, if, obviously if you didn't get all what you wanted last time, then fair play, you got plenty to grind for. But if you did, like me, there's not much to do. Do. but yes guys that is it for another video i hope you enjoyed it tell me down below in that comment section what faction you're going to be picking well thanks as always for stopping by if you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one always in the wrong